Good morning everyone. Today we're gonna do a review from my 2013 X3 35i. This is a great car, uh, SAV, excuse me. You don't see many of these around with the M Sport package. I'm gonna show you uh, some of its best features. Um, one of my favorite things about the uh, truck is the way it starts up. It starts up aggressively. You know that the engine <clears throat> is something special, which it is. Uh, on paper, 300 horsepower, 300 pounds of torque. Um, what it's really producing on a dyno is probably about 320 horsepower, 320 pounds of torque. Um, before I had this car, I actually had the X5. If you look on my videos, um, I had an X5 for 53 days, but Storm Sandy um, took it away. So, yes, pretty horrible. All right, so let's start it up. Okay, RPM uh, dipping below a thousand. It's pretty warm out. As you can see, the, um, the exhaust is very loud. So that's what we want. We're gonna do a um, quick interior and then we're gonna do some driving. Show you what this thing is about. All right, so uh, we're driving to an area right now, safe area where we could do some test runs. I'll do some pass-bys. You can see how uh, loud the exhaust is, how fast the car is. Uh, let's talk about price uh, as we drive to our destination. Uh, the base price for this car is $43,000. Uh, options, of course, you know what a BMW can add up uh, quite so much. Uh, <laughs> the base price is 43 and this car is $59,245 uh, so yes uh, big difference uh, this car has every single option except one and that's rear heated seats and um, there's no like entertainment package or anything of the sort <clears throat> so that uh, temperature gauge will be climbing up shortly car is extremely smooth uh, right now I have it in comfort mode uh, this chassis has three settings echo pro comfort and then sport okay there's also sport plus which is the same thing as sport it just uh, puts the traction control on dynamic but gives you the ability to um, slide out but yet you're still protected copper right there flying we're uh, out in beautiful Rockaway um, you know it's very nice out here not good for hurricanes though uh, the most impressive thing about this car besides the engine is the handling uh, it literally does handle like a, a regular sedan I just want to point that out to you. I'm going to pull in here. Now this is a whole perfect circle. Um, we're gonna drive around it. The BMW X3 could perform the circle uh, without any problems 
at roughly 50 miles an hour. We're not gonna go that fast, obviously, right now, but I'm gonna, just gonna show you some of the driving dynamics of what the X3 could do. Unfortunately, I don't have a cameraman, so please watch. Okay, we're back in the car now. Uh, we're in good old Floyd Bennett Field. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a quick zero to 60 run. The tires are nice and warm. It hit 60 uh, on average at about 5.4 seconds. Uh, I have timed it plenty of times. Uh, on a really good day, perfect weather, perfect tires, probably 5.2. Uh, if this car had any type of performance upgrade besides the K&N air filter that I have, uh, you know, they could do 4.9, 5 seconds, 0 to 60. It's a very capable uh, truck. Very capable. Do not enter. Oh, that's that's fun. Beautiful day out on this Sunday. Let's talk about some of the uh, features on the X3. Uh, so it has the top view camera, which I'll show you what that is. There's cameras literally everywhere on this car. If you can see, I know the reflection of the light. It's cameras under the side view mirrors, cameras on the front bumper, cameras on the rear bumper. It gives you a 360 view of uh, literally everything and I'll show you that in a second of course that's the rear view camera the um, 
car also has adaptive headlights, which is, uh, you know, as the steering wheel rotates, the lights rotate as well. Uh, you, you can also get the X3 in the Sport package, which has 18-inch um, rims that look decent, uh, but still the body paint doesn't match. As you can see, the, the skirts here are the same color as the body, as well as the rear bumper. Any X3 that's not an M Sport is going to have a black bumper. So that's one way you could uh, distinguish an M Sport version from a regular version. Uh, standard on all BMWs now are the blue uh, LED lights and then soon enough everything is going to be full LED. But right now that's just an option. I think on the 6 Series you can get the full LED lights for like 2600 as an option. <laughs> the M Sport package also has double stitching. So you can see that's white and black. Just adds a nice accent to the uh, vehicle. And when somebody gets in, they do notice that. This is the uh, three modes. Like I said, you have Echo Pro, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. As you change them on the screen here. Okay. So that's Echo Pro. Comfort. Sport. And then Sport Plus. In Sport and Sport Plus, you can also look at the horsepower and torque. And as the car goes, you know. And you see that red line? It saves the uh, last mark. Uh, the um, heated seats here and here. Like I said, no rear heated seats. This has the shifter paddles. We could shift uh, right from the steering wheel makes life a lot easier. Uh, let's look at the cameras. So we have here. Let me just shut my door. This is the uh, top view camera. And you can see all around. If you see right there the tire. It really makes parking easy. Like I don't even have to look outside when I'm parking. Okay, and then you also have the rear view camera. As you can see, as the steering wheel moves, this moves as well. The uh, M Sport, you can only see it uh, just once here and once there. That's the only really uh, interior uh, M badges that exist. Nothing on the seats, as you can see. Okay, let's look at the uh, rear. See how much space is back there. As you can see also in the back, it's double stitched. Everything is double stitched. It's pretty roomy. The seat is set for me, so let's go back here. Ugh. Now I'm 5'10", not that tall. But that's how much knee space I have. And I think that's very impressive. We have rear manual uh, shades. That's a $500 option, by the way. Of course, uh, you know, in the future, these will not be manual. They'll probably be automatic. And they'll be a $1,000 option. <laughs> uh, you have your rear climate. Uh, of course, it's not zoned out like the X5, but you can adjust it, and it's actually pretty strong, to be honest with you. Uh, I have a car seat back here. I do have a uh, little baby, and it's very comfortable for her. She actually loves the ride in the X3. Okay, let's go look at the trunk. So I'll show you what some stuff I have back here. So I have the stroller. And then behind here, there's some other stuff. Umbrellas, paper towels. I mean, I mean, it's not that roomy, 
but for me, my wife, and one daughter, I think it's just perfect. Uh, some cleaning supplies there. The net, the net is, you know, really good because it, it kind of separates the trunk into two uh, components, and then you have here another storage pocket. Underneath here is just some more storage. It doesn't go that deep. It's roughly uh, about four inches deep, uh, but it's uh, the whole trunk as well. And this can also flip over. Uh, because on the other side of this it's weatherproofed so if you you know if you have things that are wet you know you can put them back there all you have to do is flip that over okay so let's close this you'll see uh, starting in 2014 probably all BMWs are gonna have a uh, tailgate that's operated with a button and that's you know you could open it and close it right from the back I have um, tint on here uh, what it is it's 20% all around uh, every single window okay I don't have the windshield done I usually do get the windshield done but not with the black interior okay this is got a far away look here Do some quick driving scenes. hands down uh, compared to any other SUV in this category um, this is the best I drove the Q5 my friend has a Volkswagen Tiguan um, the GLK 350 I test drove that uh, you know the Honda CRV you know which is not even in a comparison but I mean the fact of the matter is throughout all of those cars this still gives you the balance of driving pleasure dynamics uh, you know the engine is just amazing anybody that drives this car if you have this car and your friend wants to drive it it's only gonna put a smile on their face um, you could take passengers in it you could have two kids in the back seat have a comfortable ride uh, if the suspension is in the uh, 
comfort mode. And then of course the uh, sport mode when you're not with the kids, <laughs> which is what I usually do. Uh, because it just puts a smile on my face. Uh, this is one of the roads in uh, Rockaway. It actually has three nice turns coming up. And just try to look at the front end of the vehicle and you'll notice that it really does not much body roll. You know, we're in Sport Plus right now, and you'll see. We're taking these turns at about 80 right now. Here's the next three right there. That was about 83. I mean, the car, the car just doesn't want to shake off. And, and the, the one complaint I have about the, uh, the truck is, um, but that the tires that it comes with here in the Northeast is just not that good, to be really honest with you. Um, these are Goodyear Eagle LS2s. They run flat, uh, 245 all around, uh, 245, 45, 19. And uh, it needs stickier tires. And, and if it had better tires um, from the factory, this car would be even better. <laughs> um, once these have about 40% of tread left, uh, I will get uh, just regular tires because uh, it just makes sense. And uh, if I ever get a flat, that's what roadside assistance is for. But uh, I would put on probably the Continental Contact 3, the ultra high performance all seasons. Those got re uh, very good reviews, um, as well as the, uh, the Michelin Pilot Sports. The all season ones, the AS, but uh, that's my one complaint about the car, honestly, is that the tires are no good. But besides the point, uh, everything is wonderful. Uh, if anybody's in the market to get this car, I would suggest you test drive it um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The other engine option is the 28i, which is the four cylinder turbo, 240 horsepower, 260 pounds of torque. Uh, that car is extremely fuel efficient. Uh, it's peppy when you need it to be, but um, go for the 35 and <laughs> you'll be sure that uh, you made the right uh, choice. I'm gonna show you with the shift paddles, how fast they uh, go. Just listen to the engine sounds. Very peppy. Uh, the RPM just now didn't go past uh, 4,500. So this does have uh, rev matching, so it does blip the throttle uh, before it actually downshifts. Very important for a car that has a high-performance engine, because when you match the uh, downshifts, uh, it actually protects the engine from uh, any damage. Let me show you what a downshift looks like. Very peppy. A 
lot of people ask me, Sean, what did you prefer, the X5 or the X3? Well, I had the X5 diesel. I love that it was an amazing car, $70,000 MSRP. I prefer this, okay? The only car I would take over an X3 35i M Sport in the BMW category would be an X5M. I would take an X5M over this, not even the 5.0 twin turbo 450 horsepower. If I'm going to take the X5, it has to be 555 horsepower and it has to be the X5M. Uh, is the X5 more refined in the interior? Obviously, you know, <laughs> it's an expensive vehicle, but this interior is wonderful. Nobody's going to complain about it, I guarantee you. This is uh, Rockaway again. This is one of my favorite roads when you uh, leave Brooklyn and enter Brooklyn. It's, a, it's pretty smooth over here. thing about BMWs uh, in the US is that they come with certain liabilities for example most BMWs if you hold down the lock button you cannot put the windows up if you forgot them you know to do that uh, for some reason in the European spec models they do so, you know, if you have a BMW, you know that if you hold the unlock button down before you get in the car, you can open all the windows. What I did is uh, I got with this guy that does certain type of coding and he can actually make those changes for you. So if you have any questions about that, I could give you uh, a guy that could, you know, take care of that because there's some other things that he could do. For example, Let's uh, just scroll down here to vehicle status. Okay. And if you look at the tires, you can actually see that the pressure and the temperature is available. Again, they don't do this with US spec uh, cars. So, you know, it's a little cool features here and there. If you have any questions about this car, please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, and I recommend that you buy an X3 or at least test drive it and test drive the 35 engine and the 28. You might as well. All right. Enjoy your weekend, everybody, and I hope you liked the video. Take care.